Hello world, welcome back to another video. I'm here today to bring you my February wrap up. I read quite a lot so this might be a long video, we will see. I read nine books in February which I think is pretty impressive considering it's the shortest month and some of the books I read were kind of huge. Four of the books I read were over 500 pages, one of them very much so. But maybe it's less impressive if you keep in mind that I'm not in university anymore and I don't have a job so I basically don't have anything else to do. The first book I read is Inheritance by Christopher Paolini, which is the final part in the Inheritance Cycle. I started reading the Inheritance Cycle as part of the Reread Longathon, which was hosted by Lucy and Veronica of Bookish Best Friends, um, and I didn't finish it. I read all of Aragon and all of Eldest and part of the third book, Brissinger? I never know how to say this. Um, in the reread alongathon, and then I just continued reading after it had ended. I had heard some negative comments on this book from some friends, so I was kind of worried um, that I would be let down, but I don't think I was in the end. It's kind of difficult to sum up my feelings for this book in a brief manner because it's such a massive read. My copy is 860 pages. I had mixed feelings about sort of the resolution at the end. I've mentioned before that I like it when stories have a nice sort of full circle ending. At the same time, I realised that this is not always going to happen and that's good. I actually quite like the fact that I had mixed feelings about this book. I think it's good to not only read books that you would rate five stars. I've been thinking about doing sort of a book discussion video for the entire series. Um, this is going to take some time to prepare because there is a lot of material in these books and also it's not going to be spoiler free because it's impossible to talk about these books in detail without giving anything away. I have also participated and I'm still participating in a reread long of the entire Harry Potter series and in the month of February I read the first four books in the series. The read long is hosted by a Goodreads and I will link it down below so that even if you don't want to join the reread you can still join the discussions. So the first book Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling obviously. I will never tire of this book even though I don't think it's the best book in the series by any measure. Coming back to this book is like putting on your favourite comfy clothes. It's so familiar and so comfortable and at the same time I do every time find something new with every reread. I think what I love most about this particular book is the descriptions of Hogwarts and Quidditch. I mean the films are great and everything, I'm not hating on the films, but Quidditch is so much better in the books. The second book, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, I never really liked this book when I read it the first few times uh, in Dutch. I think it grows on me a little bit more every time I read it. And with everything I know now, I think it's really interesting to learn a bit more about Voldemort's past and to pick up on some of the hints that I didn't pick up on when I read it for the first time. The third book, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, is possibly my favourite book in the series. When I was rereading it this time, I was struck actually by how much I enjoyed it. I didn't remember it as being one of my favourite ones. I love Sirius and Lupin and what I really love is the whole Patronus charm thing. Something that I really appreciate about this book is that um, much like the first two books it's very much a self-contained story but at the same time it's also a huge prelude to what's going to happen in the rest of the series. Next is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire which is the first of sort of the really big ones in the series. I've always had mixed feelings about this book. There are things that I like and things that I don't like but overall this particular reread was positive. I like sort of the maturity that's beginning to show not only in the characters but in the story as a whole. You know you're looking outside of Hogwarts, you're learning more about the Ministry of Magic. And especially with the ending of this book, you know that, you know, shit just got real and you're standing on the threshold of God knows what's going to happen. Now, apart from all that, I also made the spontaneous kind of last minute decision to participate in the Project TBR readathon, which was hosted by Benjamin of Tomes. I already did a separate wrap up video for that readathon, but in that video, I promised I would elaborate a bit more on some of the books that I read in my wrap-up for the entire month, so that's what I'm going to do now. The first book I read is The Uncommon Reader by Alan Bennett. This is a very short book about how the Queen of England discovers a mobile library and starts taking out books and very quickly 
um, becomes a very avid reader. I enjoyed this book a lot. It's a very quick read. I finished it in one morning. As I mentioned before, I particularly enjoyed the ending, the final sentence especially, but obviously I can't really talk about that without giving anything away. The final sentence really is like boom and I, I loved it. The second book I read in the Project TBR readathon is this one. This is a bind up of the first three volumes in the Amber Chronicles by Roger Zelazny. And these volumes are called Nine Princes in Amber, The Guns of Avalon and Sign of the Unicorn. The Chronicles of Amber is a high fantasy series in which um, our world and many sort of parallel worlds are just shadows which are cast by Amber, which is the one true real thing. The stories, or at least the ones I've read so far, follow Corwin, who's one of the princes of Amber. He has a lot of brothers and sisters and most of them don't get along very well. They're all competing for the throne. That's what everything in the story sort of revolves around and there is a lot of intrigue and people form bonds with other people and then you know, ugh. this was not an easy read. It's kind of complicated with all the characters. I kept flicking back to check people's names. Some of the difficulty may also have been caused by the choice of words that the Dutch translator made. I read this in Dutch translation. Nevertheless, I did enjoy it. I never got past the first volume before. I have two more bind ups right here. I don't know if you can see them. And I hope I'll be able to get round to them quickly before I forget everything that's happened in the first bind up. Next, I read April Witch by Michael Axelsson. This is a Swedish book originally. Um, I read a Dutch translation but an English translation also exists. I don't want to talk about this book too much right now because I plan to do a full book review but basically it's about three women who have all lived with the same foster mother at some point in their lives. They all come from problematic backgrounds and they all sort of have their own baggage to carry. Then there is a fourth woman who is the biological daughter of the foster mother, but she was given up at birth because she is disabled, severely disabled, and she's really the main character of the story. Something I didn't realise when I picked up this book, even though the title is April Witch, is that this fourth woman has sort of special skills or abilities and they are very very important for setting the plot in motion. The final book I read is Hollow City by Ransom Riggs which is the sequel to Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I started reading this during the Project TBR readathon but I didn't finish it completely. I got about two thirds through but I continued reading it after the readathon had ended and I managed to finish it in February. I enjoyed reading this book very much. I found it a very addictive read, just like I did Miss Peregrine. I think overall I slightly preferred Miss Peregrine's, maybe also because everything was still new and exciting in the first book. But I was still quite happy with Hollow City and I cannot wait to read Library of Souls, which is the final book in the series. I won't be announcing a TBR for this month. One, because by the time it would be up we would already be over a week into March and it seems a little pointless. And two, because I honestly don't know yet what I'm going to be reading. Obviously, I'm still participating in the Harry Potter 7 book read-along, so I will be finishing the rest of the Harry Potter series. But apart from that, I just haven't given it much thought. I've been doing really well so far with my reading this year. I'm six books ahead of my Goodreads schedule to make it to 50 books in 2015. But reading is something that I enjoy, something that I love very much and I don't want to push myself too much because I don't want it to feel like a chore. I want to make sure it stays something that I enjoy doing and not something that I feel like I have to do. That was it for this video. Um, let me know in the comments which books you read in February and if you do have a TBR plan for March, let me know as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye!